How to smooth a wall. Difficulty level 1 hammer. Careful preparation through filling, smoothing and sanding is essential to produce beautiful paintwork. Use these simple techniques to achieve perfect results. You will need a plastic sheet, heavy duty detergent, skim plaster or skim plaster for a roller and sheets of fine sandpaper. You will need a sponge, a bucket, a brush, a painting trowel, two large plastering trowels, a tray, a sanding block, a roller and a float for applying the skim coat of plaster. You will also need protective gloves and a dust mask. Cover the ground with plastic sheeting and tape it in place. Turn off the electricity. Remove the switches and electric sockets from the walls. Thoroughly wash any old paint. Take particular care doing this sort of work in a kitchen. Once the wall is dry, use 80 or 100 grit sandpaper on a sanding block to roughen the surface. If there is wallpaper on the wall, remove it and sand the wall with 80 grit sandpaper on a sanding block to remove any remnants of paste. Paint undamaged plasterboard panels with special undercoat. Make sure you fill any cracks or holes before continuing. You can find further details of how to do this in our video, Filling Holes in a Plasterboard Wall. To prepare the skim plaster, first add water to the tray, then sprinkle a fine layer of plaster on top. Mix until you have a uniform paste which sticks to the float without dripping. Apply the skim coat, working from right to left if you are right-handed, the other way around if you are left-handed. Spread the plaster in successive strips which slightly overlap each other, from the corner of the wall and from top to bottom. To make things easier, skim an area of about 1 square meter, level by level. Near the skirting board, work upwards to where the sections meet. Where the wide trowel cannot be used, select a small trowel to allow you to plaster in small nooks and crannies. If the corner is irregular, use a right angle trowel. Let the plaster harden for at least 12 hours before sanding to remove any ridges. Use fine grain sandpaper on a sanding block or an electric sander attached to a dry wet vacuum cleaner. Before painting, dust the area with a brush and then a damp sponge which you should wet regularly. Check the result, applying a second coat of plaster if necessary. You can also buy skim plaster which you apply with a roller. Load the roller with plaster and spread over the wall. Immediately smooth the surface of the plaster with the float. Work in parallel strips as in the previous example, but do not put too much plaster on the tool. Smooth rather than scrape to flatten the layer. Once the plaster is dry and sanded, dust the area with a brush, then with a damp sponge which you should wet regularly. You may occasionally tear the cardboard face of a plasterboard wall when removing wallpaper. Apply an extra thick layer of plaster to cover any damage. Then smooth it down, holding the float at a steep angle towards the wall. If the wall is very damaged, one solution might be to paste a sheet of fiberglass material as shown in our video. You can then add the skim plaster layer on top. This time, you will have to go over the work several times to achieve a perfectly smooth finish. You could also use a decorative skim. Once the first layer is dry, sanded and dusted, apply the next coat in horizontal strips. If other layers are necessary, work in alternate directions each time you add one. Once the walls are perfectly smooth and dust-free, paint them any color you like. 